Introduction to Oracle iStore Site Admin and Customer Applications. So in summary, iStore has got two main interfaces. One is iStore Site Administrator, which is like a back-end interface and customer applications, which is like a front-end interface, which is where the customer can order the product, just like a shopping cart. So you can take this as a website. A website has got two interfaces, a back-end or a management interface, then a front-end which is where people can come, they can log in, they can add or order products, pay for it, and so on. So exactly the same concept in Oracle iStore. So I'm gonna quickly take you through both these interfaces and then subsequent chapters, I will show you how to set the site admin and customer applications respectively. All right, so let me switch and go to the iStore admin. All right, so here I am in uh, iStore admin. Uh, so I've just basically come on to the login interface of Oracle eBusiness Suite application. So I'm on release 12.2.9 now, and I'm gonna log in with a user called as uh, Harry Dozer. Let's see if that works. Hit the login button. And you see this is uh, uh, left hand side you've got the list of responsibilities assigned to this user and as you could see one of the responsibilities is iStore administrator so in this particular case i have set up the iStore administrator for a vision corporation so you click on this uh, hyperlink and then you go to iStore merchant and then you come to various options within iStore so this is the basic management interface of iStore you can create site you can create a catalog for a site and you can create content for your sites you can do analysis and look at some advanced features so looking at the site if you click on this particular hy hyperlink it shows you the summary of all the sites and shows you the detail language pricing payment shipping responsibility and access so basically when you create a site you can uh, see the summary of existing sites over here and here itself you have a place to create a new website uh, i'm calling it a website because the look and feel of iStore site is just like a website so i'm going to take you through each of them one by one so i'm going to click on this uh, summary now as you could see now you've got the summary of all the existing websites so what i have done was as an experiment I have created ACL Consulting Services as a um, site using this interface um, and then you see I have then attached uh, catalog uh, content with this one which includes uh, sections and within sections products and then I have also attached a number of content such as um, uh, documents, Excel spreadsheets and so on. So in your case if you want to create a new website all you can do is you know use this particular create a site option or function and hit the go button and it's gonna let you create a new website okay and uh, once you create a new website uh, then you have uh, options to update for that particular site so if I go back here you've got something called a site details so this is the place wherein you create a site so which is where you provide the site details once you provide this information then you can choose the language for that site it could be american english it could be french it could be arabian or it could be any other language that you wish to have and that's been defined in your oracle applications server installation then here is the pricing so let me do one thing instead of telling you um, like this let me query one of the sites that i have over here you see this one that i have created so you click on update and you see this is what I have created here and then you've got the language I have chosen the pricing this is where you choose the price list associated with this particular um, site uh, within iStore and you see you can have multiple price list within one iStore site so you have uh, a different price list for walk-in customer individual customers you have different price list business customers you have different price list and partners you've got different so how the system will identify different kinds of customer so basically this goes into the setup of the customer this is how the system identifies a specific customer whether it's a walk-in individual a b2b or a partner okay then you've got something called as payment so payment means it's payment types wherein how or how do you allow the payment to be made 
for a specific product uh, for the customer purchase so customer pay using check invoice credit cards or maybe uh, cash at doorstep delivery so just like you can consider this like a amazon setup so while you are setting up amazon as a business customer um, uh, or, a, or a seller in amazon you can go and create your own site and then these are the options that you choose out there and then you can create different sections and then within each sections you can have a list of products assigned out there so similar concept so once you're done with uh, setting up your site in as an amazon seller then all the amazon customers whether they're logged in or not can view the information um, that you have created on your site as a seller so same concept over here whatever you create over here can be viewed in the front end by the customers okay and these are the payment modes and here you see you can add more payment types and again it's subject to the condition that these payment types are predefined only when these payment types are predefined you can select it over here you see you have an option to select cash also and different kinds of credit cards you also have a gift card option and so on okay then you've got something called as shipping then in shipping you see um, in my case I have defined a website for services but you may have physical products so which is where you have to add the shipping methods so you can choose the different uh, shipping methods that you have defined such as air freights or you can also um, define other logistics providers such as DHL or FedEx or um, or um, any other ones that your local country has like this and once you're done you can uh, hit the select button and then it will come over here likewise you can have any number of predefined shipping method associated with your site then you've got something called as a responsibility so responsibility is so you've got a basic site name over here but apart from that you see the responsibility gets assigned automatically this is a supported responsibility so one responsibility gets automatically assigned that every uh, uh, every customer who has uh, a responsibility assigned as IB customer will be able to view this particular website uh, in the name of ACL consulting services but you can add more responsibilities to this uh, uh, site uh, and you can let the system know which responsibilities can access your site okay you can also have order types over here then you see uh, you've got something called as assigned groups over here which is nothing but like uh, sections within your um, website front end so where you want to display your site content so you have got things like groups over here so I'm gonna show you uh, the concept of groups in a while while we are setting up okay then um, you've got something called as an access so you can uh, define access based on predefined organizations so you can include or exclude organizations so basically this is the concept in brief of defining a site using iStore administrator now comes to catalog catalog contains sections and products and relationship between these products and sections so something like uh, if you uh, consider Amazon seller example the one I have uh, I've been talking about a little while earlier so for example if you are um, if you are a um, say for example a TV manufacturer or a TV seller then you can define uh, different sections for example one uh, section for 32 inches TV one for uh, 43 inch one for 55 and above and within each sections you can define uh, your different products for example you've got LED TV LCD TV TV supported for Amazon Prime and Netflix and TVs have uh, say curve or uh, different features and so on so you can categorize so definition of products goes there then with the, while you're defining the product you can associate sections for that product and then you can also have a relationship between the products so if you click on the relationship you see here you can uh, define a relationship and associate um, so for example if you choose a 32 inches uh, TV as a customer and uh, while you're browsing you see in the bottom related products and Amazon website so something like this is a concept over here so you can define the relationship and um, specify the relationship uh, mapping rules 
um, roles and so on again this is something we will look at it as we go along in the course all right then you've got something called as uh, content then content could be um, say pictures or videos or excel spreadsheets pdfs and so on and this content you can then later associate with uh, either your sections or projects for example for our project photos you want to show so where will it come from it will come from these these uh, contents over here and then you can leverage it in your uh, site catalogs okay so if i go back now so this is what we have uh, gone through now we have gone through the concept of sites the uh, concept of catalog which includes the sections and products then contents and you see you you can define libraries for contents you can define your approval rules for contents and uh, you can categorize a different media object for example a gif or an excel or a word application and um, you can you can then use it later while defining your catalogs okay then we haven't gone through analytics so this is the place wherein you can analyze your pages your site areas and so on and you you've got something called as advanced features okay so this is basically the back end of uh, or your oracle i store i'm going to go back to the summary so what i've talked about was uh, the site sections products and content so uh, once you have defined a site then you can view that site over here so i have defined a very very basic site over here and you see while defining the site you see i was talking about your uh, assigned groups within uh, your responsibility section so here you've got assigned groups i have assigned four groups business education store and a consumer so all that uh, groups you can view it over here you see once you have assigned the section so this is the section i've uh, defined with a specific uh, uh, name a sale consulting services and if you click on this so this particular site is assigned to these groups consumer business education and store okay so when you click on your site you can view the section and within that uh, section you've got this particular product that is defined so a sale consulting services and within that you've got the product as acl ebs upgrade okay so this is just one example of the whole uh, tree but you can uh, take a complex one for example you can go to a predefined site and you see here if you click on a preview you see these are the uh, different sections and within each section then you can have multiple products out here for example you've got you see something like desktops and desktop is a section and within desktop section you've got multiple products defined for desktops okay and for example if I click on this particular desktop you see you look at this definition and uh, sometimes you know you've got uh, relationship and if you have defined relationship for this desktop then uh, it will be shown at the bottom of that uh, of that uh, desktop as related product see for example in this particular one you see see something like services you have or related products you have this is where the relationship comes into picture okay so this is the concept of uh, i store um, now i'm going to come out of this <coughs> in the in terms of the site administration interface or the back end interface of site okay so many many features out here i will uh, try to cover as much possible as in this particular uh, course and this is one side of i store application which is the back end application then you've got the front end application which is customer facing application and a lot of uh, customer facing application features i've shown you in my other course i store uh, fundamentals course which is where i've create uh, shown you how to go about creating a new customer user and then how to uh, go about ordering a uh, product as a customer and then track that product uh, see the invoices for that product how to return that product and so on so those business flows I have shown over here now in this particular course I will be majoring majorly um, covering the back-end side of uh, iStore which is nothing but the iStore administrative uh, interface or iStore administrator which is something I have briefly explained to you in this particular lesson 
so now at having said that I'm going to come out of this particular user I'm going to quickly log in as a user having the front end access so all right so I'm going to log in as a user called as D a light and give the password I hit the login button and you see here you've got something called as a partner super user so I'm going to go into this and as you could see all the sites which are defined in iStore as an administrator are shown over here so as an example you see you've got things like sites over here you click on this one so these are the sites which are predefined using the iStore administrator now this is the front end part of things okay so you can go into these sites and as you could see on the left hand side you've got all the sections and when you click on this hyperlink for sections on the right hand side you will see the product associated with these sections displayed in a list okay so um, uh, if you if you go back here uh, in fact you can uh, you can you can add a product um, to the cart and if you're familiar uh, with I procurement so the interface is pretty much similar like I procurement so you can add products you can uh, remove products or if you're familiar with Amazon you see the you see as an Amazon customer you can view all the products you can add it to the cart and while you're checking out you can log in uh, and then check out and pay for the item and then item will be shipped to you and invoice will be generated and sent to you okay so same concept over here everything is pretty much same and if uh, if you recall here you also have an option to uh, register okay so uh, if you are new to uh, this uh, iStore application as a customer then you can uh, potentially use a predefined link uh, to register as a customer okay so let me do one thing let me log out and as soon as I log out you see you have got things like register over here that particular hyperlink so this hyperlink you can copy and share it on your website and uh, use that hyperlink to let customer knows this is the place to register as a uh, iStore user to order products from your website again the customer will never know that you are using iStore as a back-end technology to um, to display all the products on your website you don't have to uh, let the customer know all you have to do is display a link as a register on your website and customer can register it and order the products and track their order progress from here so basically this is in summary the two major interfaces I talked about one is the iStore site administration interface and second is iStore customer application interface respectively